Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 461, All Who Hunger Gather Gladly. The text is by Sylvia G. Dunstan. Her life was unfortunately cut short. Uh, she lived from 1955 to 1993. And in 1990, she attended a conference for the Hymn Society. She presented a workshop on her own hymns. After the conference, she vacationed in Charleston on the beach. And what's interesting there is it ties into the background of this hymn, because at that time she was studying the collection Southern Harmony. Holy Manna is a big tune in Southern Harmony. So just keep that in mind as we talk about that in a few moments. But so she was humming Holy Manna, walking along the beach, and that's how she constructed this text. So that idea of contrast really came across, I think, as she was walking the beach. I can see that, I think, uh, if you hear the ocean in the background, uh, she's walking along and this text comes to her. So this is certainly a text that has contrast in it. And that's how I plan to lead it or actually play it as we will worship to it later. Uh, just subtle changes that will highlight that contrast. So maybe taking the pedal out, maybe soloing a line, things like that. Very subtle. Let's look at some of the contrasts. Come from wilderness and wandering, here in truth we will be fed. Verse 2. Come from restlessness and roaming, here in joy we keep the feast. Verse 3. Come from loneliness and longing, here in peace we have been fed. So that's some of that. Now let's look at the music. We have W. Moore, Columbian Harmony. It's actually a pentatonic melody, five notes. And what's interesting here is that's not Southern Harmony. But Colombian Harmony was 10 years before Southern Harmony, so as it says 1825 here. And so we pretty much think, and most musicologists would agree, that these were fragments derived from other hymns and other collections. If you page through ELW, you'll see that. And I encourage you to try that. Look at a hymn and see, oh, that's a fragment from another hymn. So it's very common to do that. Interesting about the form is it's constructed A, A, B, A. So we have the same line three times. So it was certainly a, a tune that was put together fairly easily, but it was a great tune. And it still today is a wonderful tune, which we're gonna to get to in a moment, because it became part of the collection, the Shape Note Collection, Southern Harmony in 1835. And it is that tune that every year, pretty much, the big singing in Benton, Kentucky, shape note, major gathering, we'll call it that, uh, get a group of people get together to sing tunes from Southern Harmony, primarily. And the first one they practice is Holy Man. <laughs> That one, with the same opening melody. And what's interesting is they sing it on solfege, and for them, they only have four solfege syllables. So I encourage you, go to Facebook, look up Benton Big Singing, um, uh, or Big Singing in Benton, Kentucky. They have it the fourth weekend of May, generally Saturday and Sunday, this Memorial Day weekend. It is open to anyone, and you can go and join them. And they will begin practicing, very likely, with Holy Manna in their morning session and their afternoon session. So, and you're probably thinking, what does this all have to do with it? Well, because this is such a well-structured, popular hymn, I found this lovely quote, which really drives this concept home, from Sylvia Dunstan. She's, what she's referring to is the fact that these classic hymns, like this, very famous classic hymn, sung every year, at the big singing in Benton, Kentucky, empower congregational song. So let me share this with you, because this quote is very powerful. I came to believe, she said, that meaningful thoughts in sloppy form are an impediment to the people's prayer, causing an undue focus on the work itself rather than pointing to the worship of God. So she preferred the structure of the classic hymn and the fact that the meter itself and also the rhyme would empower the congregational song. So I think that's important that we keep that in mind and it's no surprise to me that she would have selected Holy Manna as the tune from Southern Harmony to match this text. 
So I welcome you to join in with me. All who hunger, gather gladly. interesting to note that in this hymn you have taste and see the grace eternal taste and see that God is good that the original holy manna has a line that repeats as well and let me give that to you that line is coming from brethren we have met to worship holy manna will be showered all around so it's interesting also that Sylvia managed to repeat just like the original text that was set to Holy Man, it did as well. Thank you for listening.